Hi, I'm having a bit of a problem with proxies. So this is my timeline and I have already created the proxies. So let's go ahead and right click, go to proxies, attach the proxies. This is just the one clip that I'm using here. So let's go ahead and press attach, select the file that we want to attach it to and press OK and everything is great. It is attached. So here's the proxy uh, toggle. I'm going to click it. And as you can see, I've added this sign here, Alika, to the proxy file. So I know for sure that this here is the proxy. And when I t toggle it, the proxy is then turned off. However, in this timeline and the timeline thumbnail also shows the proxy uh, file. However, it doesn't show it. I'm actually scrubbing through the 4K footage, not through the proxy. And I don't understand or know what to do in order to change that. So let's just go to uh, here, the settings, uh, general, and not much that can be done here, but in media, you can see that enable proxy proxies is indeed turned on. I tried disabling hardware acceleration as others have suggested, but that did not work. And media cache has been deleted and memory playback. I've tried all of these settings, everything that I could possibly uh, think could in any way be related to the proxies. I have unenabled, tried it, and it didn't work. So uh, yes, any help uh, would be muchly appreciated. And just let's also explore the file system here. So here's the actual file, and I'm going to go ahead and rename it. All right, this should disconnect the file. Here it is. So uh, let's cancel all that. And now the proxy file here is indeed showing. It's, uh, putting it back, it does not reveal the original file. So let's go back to Finder. Set the file back to its original name. Move to proxy, remove proxy. The file has not been linked. Relinked. Hey, but at least we get the proxy. So now I'm going to go and right click here, go to proxy, reconnect full media. Here it is, attach. And version three, this is the one that I need. Okay, now full media has been reconnected. Moving it to proxy does not show the proxy file. Just one more time, attach the proxy. Yes, this is the one attach. This is the one and undo redo. Yes, yeah, so apparently renaming uh, <laughs> renaming the file will reveal the proxy, but obviously that is not the workaround that we're looking for. To really prove a point here, let's go to File, Export, Media. From here, we're going to select our uh, format. For me personally, this is uh, QuickTime. Lost there for a second, and uh, my own preset. And going down to the effects panel over here, let us go to where it says name overlay. Type in big letters proxy, and let's in fact do it 100% and into the center, and just the prefix. Right. And go ahead, we're going to save this preset. And we're going to say this big. Okay. Uh, now that the preset is saved, we can cancel out of it. Moving to media encoder, we can add a or rather, I uh, already have one, we can create a new ingest preset, but since I already made one, I'm going to right click and change this preset. And here from the presets of the transcode, we're going to make it big. And let's go ahead and click OK. I'm going to now select my preset, uh, I'll right click on it, and reveal preset file. We're going to need that in one second. Let's go back to our 
Premiere Pro, right click, proxy, and create proxies. Here, we need to add a new preset. The preset that we just opened is here. Let's go ahead and click that away and browse a new file folder. And this is going to be just fine. So let's press OK. As you can see, the proxy is now being created. All right. And now the proxy is here. It's live. Now we can clearly see what we are doing. So if I toggle between these two, uh, between the proxy stage, you can see that it is not actually reflecting on the timeline, even though in the thumbnail it clearly is saying that it should be reading it. If I right click, go to proxy, attach a proxy, and yes, this is the clip. I have two proxies now here. Uh, one is in the folder called proxy. This is the one that we're using and one in the actual folder where the video clip is. There's another subfolder called proxies. And if we attach this one, there it is. And nothing has changed. Um, I've seen some people say that it really depends on whether you're using full half, a quarter or an eighth. Uh, no, that, that there is no difference in that. I think that when they put it to eighth, to a fourth and they start scrubbing, they see the increase in speed because they reduced the quality of the preview and they presume that it's the proxy playing. Either way, uh, this is my dilemma with the proxies. I um, would really appreciate anybody's input on to how to fix this problem. As you can see, we've tried a bunch of uh, options and none of them really seemed to work. Thank you so much.